follow along today as I cover cycling a newly set up fish tank. This guy over here, which I set up two days ago with some quick start and ammonia. I'll break it down into the simplest terms so that anyone can understand. What up fish friends? My name is Michael with Fresh Flow Aquatics. I own an aquarium maintenance business and understand through a lot of my clients that cycling is a confusing process. How do you cycle an aquarium? So the first and most important thing is you need to understand the nitrogen cycle. This video is not about explaining the nitrogen cycle. So check out um, something I'll link right up here in the corner. Look at that video, watch it. It's 90 seconds and it will explain the nitrogen cycle for you. So you want to cycle a tank, right? A lot of people will add this quick start into an aquarium. And the problem is when you add it right off the bat, there isn't any food source for the beneficial bacteria inside this bottle. This beneficial bacteria relies on ammonia. Ammonia is the food source. And without that ammonia, you can dump as much quick start as you want into an aquarium and the cycle won't really be expedited. So I've talked to folks in the past that have dumped quick start in their aquarium and it's still taken about six weeks for their fish tank to cycle. Likely because of what I was talking about, there's no food for those beneficial bacteria. So if you think to the nitrogen cycle, the ammonia spikes, and then that's when the bacteria colonies really start getting the food source. And in a tank like this, the ammonia, if you don't have fish in there, is going to come from decomposers. But in the beginning, with a really newly set up fish tank, there is very little decomposers in the aquarium. And when I talk about decomposers, I'm not talking about like big crustaceans, beetles or isopods uh, chewing on things and pooping out stuff. I'm talking about microbial decomposers that produce ammonia as waste. So we're going to bypass the decomposer stage and we're going to add ammonia into the tank. Now, very important that you don't overdo ammonia. Ammonia is extremely strong. If I could have found a bottle like this big, I would have because I'm only going to be adding one drop into that tank. The general rule of thumb is one drop per 2.5 gallons. And that's exactly what this tank is. So I'm going to add one drop in and then run over to the fish store and get an ammonia wheel and we can see what's going on with the ammonia. This process is as easy as it sounds. Uh, we go in here, grab a little bit of ammonia, one drop, seriously, one drop. Boink! That's it. Oh, that stuff is strong. <coughs> So uh, one of the reasons that we want to be really careful in adding the ammonia is that too much ammonia will skyrocket the pH of your aquarium. Ammonia is, uh, I think, like a pH of 11 to 13 or something, which is incredibly high. Too much of this ammonia, too high of a pH, will restrict how the beneficial bacteria grow. So Adding a little bit in will provide them with food. Adding too much in will change the water parameters, making it unsuitable for beneficial bacteria. So really, please be careful. You're adding drops in at a time. This isn't the kind of thing that you're just sloshing into your fish tank. All right, now that we got a little bit of ammonia in there, let's add some quick start. I tend to like to add a lot of this quick start in the beginning and maybe a couple rounds here and there later on. I know some people like to add a little bit every day, but if you're adding ammonia to the tank, then there'll already be food for them. So theoretically, adding a large amount of this stuff in the beginning will be beneficial because it will really help to seed the whole tank. And I'm not measuring, I'm just dumping, so go for it. <laughs> Now it's important when you're cycling a tank this way by adding ammonia and quick start to monitor the ammonia levels in the tank. So I'm going to run over to the store now and grab an ammonia wheel because I'm too lazy to test for it. 
every day. It's been 24 hours since dropping in the first drop of ammonia and uh, this ammonia wheel does take a while, like the new ones, to reflect the values inside the tank. So um, it is now showing that the ammonia is slightly above the safe. It's not quite at this alert zone, which is 0.05 parts per million ammonia. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in one more drop of ammonia and we'll see where that's at. And then I'll also add a little bit more quick start and then I'm gonna let it sit um, until the ammonia is pretty much depleted. Ooh, I think that may have been more than one drop of ammonia. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with this wheel. Um, if it gets up to crazy high levels, then I'll just do a big old water change to kind of reset it. But a little more quick start. All right, now it's kind of a waiting game. Let's see what happens. We are three days in the cycling process and I would have expected this ammonia wheel to go down now. It's on 0.05 slash 0.1 parts per million. For a tank this size, you know, I could expect it to cycle in as little as three to five days using this method. So kind of weird that we're still seeing ammonia. My suspicion is that this ammonia wheel is off. So I went ahead and did a water test and there is no ammonia no nitrites and maybe 10 parts per million nitrates maybe a little under there so uh, that's actually an indicator that the cycle is done in a cycling tank you wouldn't have any nitrates if you think back to the nitrogen cycle that video i linked in uh, it's really only that very last step where nitrates start to creep in so before i add livestock i'm going to do one last test to make sure that this tank is cycled. Yeah, and I'm sorry that this ammonia wheel didn't work. I thought it would have added a really cool visual to it. Instead, you're just gonna have to listen to me talk a little bit more about the process rather than actually seeing it reflected in that ammonia wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some ammonia in now. We're gonna do a slightly bigger load than we had before. Uh, I have always done one drop for two gallons, like I mentioned earlier, and that's important when you're doing a newly cycling tank but now that we have all this beneficial bacteria in here i'm actually going to add three drops into this tank wait a couple minutes test the ammonia and then uh, get an idea of how that ammonia transfers throughout the next 24 hours if we see it reflected in nitrates with no ammonia and no nitrites tomorrow then I know that this tank is cycled and ready to go. I might do a water change to get rid of some of those nitrates and then go ahead and add some shrimp in. If I do find that there's still ammonia in there tomorrow or nitrites, then I know this tank isn't quite fully cycled yet and we'll just have to try that um, same process a couple more times till we see that the beneficial bacteria is able to flush out ammonia relatively quickly. It's the following day. The ammonia test yesterday right after adding ammonia yielded nothing. So I'm not surprised that the water parameters today haven't changed much. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to add livestock to the tank now just because I'm not sure that my test was really severe enough. So I've gone ahead and checked out uh, if I add in 10 drops of ammonia to a one gallon jug, it'll uh, give me 0.5 parts per million ammonia. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add about 20 drops of ammonia to this tank, which is a ton, right? Like that would kill anything in there, um, like fish or shrimp wise. So. I really want to see how this tank can handle a heavy amount of ammonia. Are we going to see it reflected in lingering ammonia for days to come? Or is it going to reflect in nitrites? Or within 24 hours, will that large amount of ammonia cycle out 
resulting in just nitrates. If that's the case, then we're good to add fish. I'm just going to be adding shrimp since this is a small tank and the shrimp are never going to produce that much bio load anyways. So I'm really testing like with an extreme amount that should never in reality occur in this tank. I'm going to test the ammonia now to make sure that it actually did change the ammonia levels in this tank. That way this test is actually successful, unlike last night's test. Tested the ammonia, we're at just under 0.5 parts per million, which uh, is exactly where I was thinking we'd be at. Uh, hopefully the amount of ammonia I added before was enough to just sustain the bacteria but not enough to budge the water parameters and then this time around we'll actually see what happens. Where does this ammonia end up? I'll test later today and then tomorrow morning as well. If all of that ammonia is cycled through nitrites to nitrates, then I'll just do a big water change and go ahead and add some cherry shrimp. If, on the other hand, that amount of ammonia is too much for this system to handle, then I'll probably uh, let it sit for a little bit and get digested and then do another test a few days later. It's been five hours since I dropped in that pretty hefty load of ammonia into the tank this morning. And now I'm going through and testing ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates in the tank, as well as ammonia in the jar or pitcher, just to compare it to the results over here. And this actually happened a lot faster than I thought it would. The ammonia in the aquarium has cycled out. There's pretty much just trace amounts right now. There's no nitrites, and then the nitrates have bumped up a little bit. So that indicates to me that this uh, tank is pretty much fully cycled and it just took three or four days to do that using the ammonia and quick start method. The ammonia in the pitcher is still the same. I just wanted to test that to make sure that there was no voodoo magic going on causing ammonia to disappear. Just like a good control measure for any experiment to have something like that. So. I'm going to do one more test tomorrow morning because it looks like there's a little bit of ammonia in there still. And then it doesn't look like I'll even need to do a water change that uh, nitrates aren't that high. Probably the floating plants are helping pull some of it out. Um, they do grow really quickly. So if things look good tomorrow morning, I'll go ahead, add some shrimp to the tank. It'll be fun to have some critters in there. It's the final day of this experiment. I did one last water quality check and turns out the ammonia is gone. There's no nitrites in the tank and there's about 15 parts per million nitrates, which should be just fine for cherry shrimp. And it'll provide a little bit of nutrition for the plants in the tank. So that's a wrap on cycling a tank using some ammonia and quick start. If you're doing this at home, make sure you take your time. And don't just uh, do what I've done without the water quality testing because every tank is different and sometimes things respond a little bit out of the ordinary, what we wouldn't expect. So really make sure that you've watched your water parameters go up and down and you can do this little check like I did where you add kind of an unrealistically high load of ammonia in there to see how your tank's able to handle it. and. Uh, that way you know you're really safe to be adding livestock to your tank without risking anything. Appreciate you sticking around to the end. Make sure you hit that like and sub button. Help me out since I'm maybe helping you out with this video. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. But appreciate the support. Till next time. See you.